This is the paint I'm going to be using. It's a two part PU paint. This is fire and ball railings, colour match to that. It's going to be that sort of colour. I've got a grey primer. This is a catalyst, so one of them to one of them. There's two there. And some thinners. But before I start painting these, I'm just going to go around and make sure all the corners are knocked off. Sanded round, sand these bits where the screws went in, and just generally make sure they're ready. Right, these are the these two are the end panels for the tall unit. I'm just sanding the edge of the MDF with 80 grit to get them smooth. Now I'll take off the edges, take off the sharp corners with that. And then I'll go over it with 120, get it smooth, and I'll leave it at that. This has got lines to it. So when you're sanding, you want to sand at an angle, otherwise you put put lines in the in the wood here. And then using the soft side, just as I'm sanding, I'll sand like that, then round it, round it over. Right there done, put a little arrow to remind me that that's the inside edge and that's the top. These are kickboards, I'm just going to take the sharp edges off them, because I might be cutting them anyway, but I'll spray one edge just to seal it when it goes down to the ground, for when you're mopping the floor and stuff. And these end panels, I'll spray the top, but when the bottom gets cut, I'll seal that with some paint. It ready to start spraying. Before I do, I'm going to spray a bit later in a in an hour or two. I'm just going to blow everything down, even the stuff up there. Then leave it for an hour or so, and this dust will settle. Then I'm going to be making loads more sanding the primer off but at least I've got rid of a lot of it and then all I'll be doing is, is blowing down on these and most of my shed is earth floor so I don't mind a bit of sawdust on there especially in winter but for this I'll blow the worst off blow my trestles off and by the time it comes to putting the top coat on most of the dust that I've gone. Uh, this is the primer. It's a grey. This stuff comes in kilos, not, not litres. This is a 5 litre tin. Blocks. It only comes to that. Need to give this a shake. There you go. It's quite thick. Mixing cup here shows two to one.
and this is a catalyst so one of these I'm going to thin this down quite a lot I'm using the Deva Bliss again, 1.8 nozzle in it, and 90 filter. Oh, I can pick it up. Make sure that little hole in there isn't blocked. Then being tight. I'm gonna wash my filter out. Then that bit of thinners in there will go into the next mix. And the filter will be good to be used again. Right, when I start spraying I'll start at the top, then when I'm dragging it out I'm not dropping stuff onto the ones below. Right, that's the first coat of prime on. Normally, when I'm spraying a whiter colour, a light colour, you can see a dark line around there. These are quite good actually, I'm surprised. But normally I'd have to fill them. I don't think I'm going to on these. See that dark line there? Really shows up. But I'm spraying a colour that's it's almost like that. So dark you won't see that. There's one or two little issues, like there, a little tiny split, well, it's a knot, an open knot. And on this one, there's a little dent in the wood there. But the MDF edges, see if I can make it focus on them, they're quite good. These are the kick bars that I didn't really sand much. That's one of the edges for the side panels, the end panels. But yeah, they're not bad. All the joints are quite good. And this is the face. So tomorrow I can turn it over, put primer on the other side. Probably have to sand that, give it another coat of primer. And then I should be able to get some top coat on by the end of the day. And then by the end of tomorrow they'll be dry. So I can turn them back over, do the face 
and leave them with them face up finished painted and they can sit for 24 hours to cure properly put a second coat on these I'm going to sand these edges smooth back with the 120 that first coat prepared the wood made all the fibre stand up on end so the second coat should go on smooth the faces I might just give a 320 to We'll see if there's any if there's any buffer bits like on the MDF. I'll go over with the 120 in. Uh, you see this one. This is where I've sanded it with the 120. See, there's still some darker patches. Here I haven't sanded it. You see where the grain stood up. This is one of the end panels, so I want this very smooth. But this one up here. It's just one of the kickboards. This edge is. I'm painting it because it's. It just needs to be sealed. That's all. So it feels smooth, but you can see where I've blown it out with the air gun. That it's still got some pitting. But I'm not bothered about that. But this one, you want it to to be one consistent colour. So it needs to be sanded. See that looks quite nice, but if I just get the air gun, it's not bad. I'll go right over that, make that smooth. And I'm trying to use the corner, see the corner. And I get in rather than doing the two edges. Get right inside there. And these edges, I'm going over with the soft, squishy side. It's very easy to take too much paint off there. You have to end up building it off. That's the edge that was just sanded. I'll go over there, see how it forms to this shape. And the faces I'm just going over with the hard side on the 320. See so it just scuffs it up and flattens it off. Takes any little nibbles off. I've got some more lights in here. Oh, I blind you. It's one of them tripod sight lights that I never use. So I thought I might as well use the lights up there. A couple of strips that are alright but they make quite a difference. Good light in here is important. So then you see all the little marks. Turn them off. See the shade. There you go. I like that. Might even get some more. This is probably the most labour-intensive part of spraying. After you put your first coat on, you put loads of filler on wherever you needed to, and then just shed loads of sanding. But after this, it's just spraying as long as you do this right. So any little lumps or anything, get it flat, get it smooth. I can't get me block in this one, so cut one down, cut my old one down. See, sometimes it's worth not throwing things away. That's my excuse anyway. Right, that's the second coat going on. You see the kickboards where I didn't sand them properly, I was only sealing them. You can just see the, the grain or the edge, the MDF, whatever. You see these end panels, they're quite good. I'll give them a rub down with the 320 now. I won't really able to spray this side, you know, from underneath. So I'll turn them over and spray that bit and these will get another coat then. This first and second coats, they were a bit thin, but they're good enough. It's sealed all around now. I'll turn them over, put another toe coats on the other side. Now this is the first coat on the back. I did the same on the face, I put one coat on, then I'm sanding them off with 320. What, you, what happens is it goes pale and you can see where you haven't sanded. It 
difficult if it picks it up but it goes pearly you can see why you haven't sanded you just want to sand it smooth make sure you get into all the crannies make sure you get into all the corners I don't know if you can see there, it's a little bit like the MDF edges. You can see where you haven't sanded. Now although it's been sanded and the dust is loose, it still sticks even when you blow, blow it even when you blow it off it seems to stick so using a clean book. Well, that's two coats of paint, two coats of primer on everything. These edges are nice and smooth now. What I'll do is give them a quick rub over with the 320 just to remove any any little nibbles, but I won't go too deep. I won't sand it too hard. And we can get some top coat on. Nice grey. This is fire and ball railings. It's colour matched to it anyway, it's a two part paint again, same as the primer. I've given it a good shake so you get any sediment mixed in. Because I've shaken it, there'll be loads of paint on the top of it, so I'll lean it to one side just tap it and that helps the the stuff stuck underneath to, to fall down once this edge and drops inside you can hear the tone of the chain tone change oh look at that dark black see that primer must be a lot thicker because this is kilos again this is I don't know if you can see it says five kilos you see how full the tin is. It's a lot thinner this. So anyway, same again. Two to all. Fresh cup, fresh filters, everything. Guns have had a good clean out. So like I say, fresh cup. None here. Two to one. So you fill it up to there with the paint. And then one. Fill that up with the catalyst. Then here it's got 10, 20, 30 percent so that you can add a bit of thinner to thin it down. Oh. And the catalyst up to the one. I'll give this a mix. It's very thin this. Don't think I'll need to thin it down much. I'll put a little bit in there. 
maybe. I can't see the marks on the side, so just do it, giving it a splash. I like this colour because in different lights you can almost see greens and blues in it. When I did that other kitchen, there's pictures on Facebook of a kitchen that I did a little while ago. The colours look really good. And I'll give this filter a rinse out because I'll need more than one mix. Seems to be a lot of sediment in this. See in the bottom there? Don't know what that's all about. Uh, I've got quite a wide spray pattern on this. It's a bit more than that, the width of my hand. It's slightly sloping because I tend to hold the gun over at an angle so when I'm spraying it's actually straight on the wood. Oh, I've got a problem. I don't know if you can see but there's loads of little little tiny bits of dust. I've been spraying primer this morning and this is consistent. It's, it's everywhere everywhere I've sprayed and when I filtered it I got like a like a very fine residue in the bottom And looking closer, the tin itself, the little sample piece that they give me, has got like little dimples on it. If you look at that one, that's smooth, very smooth. But that one's got like little dimples on it. So that's not happening. <laughs> 